Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Wargaming.net League Gold Series. My name is Benjamin Breaker Novotny. Let's say Addison 99. And today mm -hmm. we've got a tale of two different Davids and two mm -hmm. different Goliaths, two different underdogs and two different tyrants mm -hmm. to worry about. And uh, <clears throat> I do want to say that first off for the evening, we're going to have team efficiency going up against Phoenix. Yep. And I'm thinking, mm -hmm. well, we know who's, who's favored here, essentially, right? It's team efficiency. There's yeah, no getting actually, that out. you know, uh, because the you know team team efficiency is uh, such a strong old brand name, you know. So, absolutely. Know. And mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not too sure about 2013's uh, 2013's results for them, but of course, if it's anything like 2014, it's going to be very strong. And the thing is, uh, they were a season one grand finalists, Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Used to be One Blood Gaming as well uh, as Intense Honking, right? One Blood and Intense Honking, right? And the number, I think. Well, I mean, One Blood they made it to the grand final, well, not grand finals, but the season playoffs for season one. So that mm -hmm. was, you know, it's pretty decent. And mm -hmm. I, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. And mm -hmm. also Horseman versus Charlotte Tiger later mm -hmm. on today. Mm -hmm. That one's going to be a big one. But let's dive straight into the rules right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. rules. So the rules are very simple. In case you guys weren't here all last week, there has been a completely change of meta. That would actually be uh, <coughs> a very simple one, though. You can either have six tier eight tanks and one tier six tank. We, we like to call that the the eight six composition, if you will. And yep. then uh, you could have five tier eight tanks and two tier sevens. Mm -hmm. That one's going to be, I guess you could call it the five eight the five eight seven composition. Mm -hmm. One match will consist of two maps and a maximum of eight battles. That's to say one team, the first team will be on two attack rounds and then two defense rounds. And mm -hmm. that will basically uh, end the map. <coughs> the other team will be defending or attacking depending on, well, of course, their position. And then map number two will, of course, be essentially the same process repeated over. Mm -hmm. If we happen to see an end score of 4-4, four, four, we're going to be taking things into a tie game. The first team to five points Mm -hmm. wins the battle and gets three points. If you win the tiebreaker, your team only gets two, two points. points. Yep. So that's something I guess you could say not to punish teams that take it too closely or play it too conservatively or something of that nature. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, it kind of seemed like we had quite a few tiebreakers last season, right? Uh, <coughs> on last season? Well, I mean, uh, we had a lot of draw games. Yeah, we got a lot of draw, but only, I think only two tiebreakers, I guess. I still think, like, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. we're going to hop into the standings right now. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that in a few minutes. Okay. So, Team Efficiency has two wins. Yeah. They've got six points. No mm -hmm. defeats. Front yep. Mission has one. Horseman has one. And Elong has one one. Oh, uh, yeah. But Elong, one defeat because of they, well, are, they are late on the report. They were so. disqualified, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, Charlotte Tiger is also at 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then we've got Team Phoenix, which happens to inconveniently have their name spelt incorrectly there. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're at zero wins and one defeat. Mm -hmm. But maybe they can change that tonight with another win <laughs> if, if we see them mm -hmm. really pull, uh, pull things out with their performance. Yep. Then we've got the Coalition Singapore at zero wins and one defeat and PvP Super Friends hanging in the back with only... Two defeats. It's uh, it's a little bit demoralizing to make it in third place in season one grand finals and then be in that spot. But now we're gonna hop into silver series standings. Okay. You got Team Run in first prize, two wins, zero draws. Nvidia Aces pulling out the, really mm -hmm. showing that they're, they're they're pulling out that practice regimen. Yep. Then we've got mm -hmm. PVP Missionary. Mm -hmm. They haven't had a chance to play a second game, but they've been pretty strong so far. Yep. In. Uh, <coughs> in their standings in the server series. Then we've got B Gaming at uh, one win. B Haven't gaming? played a second game uh, from yeah, Japan. Yeah, they should be the Viwako, right? Maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, B Gaming and Viwako, that was what? That was way back in... Uh, uh, QIC. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, that's what they. That's their QIC name. Maybe it changed in WGL. Now you've got LOD, unfortunately dragging it with two defeats. Mm -hmm. Gash Plus Night Eagles, our other Taiwanese team, mm -hmm. is also dragging it with two defeats. Although they did win... Uh, the they did win a set versus Charlotte Tiger at the end of uh, Gold Series Season One. In case you guys weren't uh, watching, yeah, they, they win two games, I think, two matches, but you know they didn't get a matchup. <coughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Well, here we are, guys. This is going to be game number one on map number one, and that means we've got four more rounds to go, no matter what. Mm -hmm. And. Uh. I do remember the team efficiency doing pretty good on the step last week, I think, you know. They beat the PvP and another team, but I forgot 
不选人家。All right, guys, here we are, and uh, team efficiency looks like they've got the correct graphic on the correct side of the screen. Are spawning to the south while we have Phoenix spawning to the north. But Edison was saying something mm -hmm. just as we were going to loading screen. What was it, Edison? Huh? What were you saying just before we just before we came into the loading screen? The the uh, actually, I forgot. You forgot. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. I mean, well, here we are. It's mostly light tank setup coming from our. Uh, Team efficiency, and they've decided to go with what appears to be the five eight seven composition. While we have more or less a, we've got the we've got the eight six coming from Phoenix, and they are already meeting oh. towards the west end of the map. Yeah, we've got yeah, both side rush together. I think that's the first time we see two teams stick here. On, yeah, on steps. Here we go. I mean, the fight's going there. Death Sky is down to seven twenty seven. Yeah. Fresh meat getting lit mm -hmm. up to smithereens now at one hundred twelve HP already. Dodging for his life, he's not able to get away, and he is out of the game. 507 remaining on Blade, 595, 433 on Sponster, and 482 on Blade again. Sponster, 254, 358 on Blade. Now coming down to Hitsune Miko, it's 370. DE Sly Fox at 410, 105 on Tanaka. And now the fight is being taken back to team efficiency just a little bit as they're going to low HP. Takes Phoenix, yeah. Blade, Sponster, and Much Wow already out of the game. Bingo Bongo, not far behind in the Cradle of the Graves. And Griven now struggling for dear life, not able to get away again. It's all up to Rodak to pull off a one versus five. Yeah, but here is something really interesting. Do you see the E25? The E25? Yeah, in, I think, who should I be? Uh, Comets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you see the tiny tank? It's wow. a tank destroyer. <laughs> Tier 7 tank destroyer, by, and it's a premium tank destroyer. You know? I see, okay, yeah, okay. you got to pay for that. First time we've ever seen a destroyer in the WGL, but it looked like it worked to quite yeah. the effect. Uh, because of the speed of the tank, tank destroyer is really, really fast and really high DPM. That's why he can follow other light tank, you know, move and uh, have action together. But, you know, I, I feel on this match, uh, the action of uh, Team efficiency is totally unexpected for the uh, one blood, uh, not one blood, uh, the Phoenix, you know. So when they rush in, well, it's something like a surprise. And <laughs> I mean, Phoenix basically, yeah, they had, they, they just got the, they got their own faces handed to them in a plastic bag. Unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they didn't, they didn't discover their action. Uh, you know, they didn't put it really good uh, position for score because they didn't expect that. You know, maybe. <laughs> yeah, this first time we see a team doing that. To remember, we cannot. Uh, I, I think I don't remember any team on the beginning. They rushed to the northwest side, you know. But <coughs> all right. So <coughs> this just in from our production crew. It looks like we're not going to go to a short break. In fact, okay. we're just going to go ahead mm -hmm. and hop in straight into game number two. More action for you guys. Less waiting it back at home, right? This mm -hmm. is the best part about WGL season three, in my opinion. Yep. Yep. Oh man. Okay. So. So we're gonna go. I imagine, like, since we need less time to actually set up a game, mm -hmm. that would probably mean both sides are going with the same exact tank loadout again. Do you think so? Uh, normally, they cannot do the same, you know. Uh, I, uh, actually, they have the right to change the tank loadout, but every time they do the same thing. There it is on Edison's screen. We're already loaded okay. into the next game. Yep. Got the T49, T37, an RU2512, AMX 1390s, and two Centurions. Yeah. That sounds amazing. Okay. And team efficiency, let me say, okay, the E25 is still there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, well, <coughs> team efficiency has the E25. You said <laughs> it's it has amazing speed and amazing firepower, yeah, right? Yeah, you see the tank destroyer speeds really fast, and you can follow the lightning. So. Right, I see comics <laughs> in that too. Yeah. 
What about the armor though on the sides? I uh, know. <laughs> Not on the sides. Okay. How about but the front? The sides are really, really tiny. Yeah, I mean, with penetrating, penetrating some of those team efficiency, or excuse me, penetrating some of those destroyers, much of the style of comics is there, is yeah. quite difficult. Um, but right now, as it is, I think comics is the most jutted out there, and it looks like Phoenix is taking a different approach to things, taking a wider arc. And this time, I, I feel they are ready for that. Oh, this guy. Yeah, this, this, this guy is already marked there. He takes, he's done a 957. He returns fire, but hits nothing. Yeah, Mega Troll takes a chunk as well. Yeah, yeah, but he's you know, uh, the side, uh, I think the is gonna go to the Man, 47, wow. 477 on Death Sky. Wow, And now nice. Slide Fox is already out of the game, but that was exchanged for fresh meat. Mm -hmm. And now 242 remaining on Death Skies as he's oh, struggling for dear life again, taken down mm -hmm. out of the game. Mega Troll now looks like he is next on that hit list. Comics yeah. down to 85 HP, I might remind you guys. Yep. Mega Joel is going to tango with both Blade and Bingo Bongo. Oh, T49 meets! Oh, wow. Man. And Blade himself is down to 320 HP. Mm -hmm. In this exchange, we see that it's oh. relatively even, even to this point in the game. Mega Joel is very low, as is Hatsune Miku. And Miku is the first one to fall. Mega Joel with only 5 HP. Oh, yeah, he rammed right and got. He exposed his sidetrack, he got rammed, and he took too much damage. Bingo Bongo next on that hit list as he yeah. falls in the background. 196 remaining on Tanaka as he is being focused. Now down to one shot, 70 HP. Can you do that? And he's oh, gone. Nice. Now it is two versus one, and we now know that there is only one yeah, way Yeah, yeah, but can Riva have to follow up, or he cannot run away, you know? If, yeah, if Juice wants to end this game, he's gonna yeah. need two ammo rackets. But Hunter, you know, they are defenders, so they have a chance to win if he is scared. So he had to run as soon as possible, you know? Yeah, but what, what is the Juice doing? Look he's, like leg. He's, he's, he's backpedaling while simultaneously looking and firing back. It's just not working though. Grivlin, Grivin might get oh. the killing blow, and there it is indeed. I think he, uh, he runs somewhat late, you know. A little bit. I mean, like, the bit. score is 1 1 right now. And uh, I definitely gonna say, like, if, if we saw mm -hmm. the way Phoenix was doing things there, they were actually moving way, way more out west. They were ready for that same yeah, old you know, rush. Uh, they just want to you know, hide first. You know, yeah, yeah let, let, just let the enemy you know, okay, you didn't see me, so you know, you can already fall an attack from the south side, and on that moment, they attack and they're doing really pretty good. But uh, if the T49 didn't miss, they can do it much better, you know, much easier, not better, I think, right? They know. had the, I mean, like, we saw the mm -hmm. how do I say this? They were waiting to get vision of team efficiency, and mm -hmm. then they just hopped over that train track, yep. and they're like, take him down, boys. <laughs> Yeah, and they choose a two centurion and working good, I think, because of the centurion have a little bit higher DPN than the Persian. So Are we already ready to go in the next game, or do my uh, eyes deceive me? I, I don't know. Maybe waiting for crew to tell us. You know. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. All right, so hmm. I think we're going to take things into about a two-minute break while we okay. get both of our teams switched, and then we'll be back with game number three. Don't you go away, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we are back now with round number three, and that's going to put Phoenix on offense this time mm -hmm. around. 
So the question is, how are things going to pan out here? I mean, like, they, they got face rolled there in game number one. There's no getting around that. They Yeah, they're doing pretty nice, you know. I think in the uh, candy fish, maybe they are underestimating their enemy, you know. Do we two things totally the same, you know, someone... <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe. Maybe yeah. we'll see 1-1 one, one at the end of this, mm -hmm. at the end of these two defense rounds for team efficiency. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, just to reinstate things, I mean... Mm. Team efficiency is more or less the favorite team, but at the same time, Phoenix, mm -hmm. I mean, we really want to see these guys put out some strong performance because they're made up yep. of two teams that disbanded and came together to form mm -hmm. a new team mm -hmm. called the Phoenix. And it's flying right now in this game, right? Yep. Okay. So, what are your thoughts on uh, these guys? Fresh Meat is, of course, the pro gamer. He gives some pretty sick analysis of games. Yeah, I'm um, saying Fresh Meat, Erotic, Griffin, they both, all, all of them, you know, are pretty famous on the C server, so... Uh, they have rich experience. I, I bet if they, you know, if, if team efficient, say doing the same thing again and again, they absolutely can, you know, can, can resolve the situation. But you know, uh, Kami is not an easy guy. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So I mean, like he's one of those guys that can make an AMX thirteen ninety fly for crying out loud, right? Yeah. You remember and that even from season one? I know. One? I know. And on the list map, he flied and he smacked Batman. Yeah. All right. That's really fun. And okay. We can see the tank selection right now. The Phoenix have the FV304. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. That's a SPG tier 6. And uh, the angle and DPM is pretty good. You know, but uh, something like, like they expect the team efficiency gonna camp somewhere. But you know, on this season, until right now, we didn't see team efficiency camp. Oh, right. you said on the hemisphere. Okay, they camp on the northwest, but you know, that's their strategy with the KV4, and they show up how to uh, break the camp position on the last weekend, right? Do you right. remember? Yeah, um, they, they are on the offense side to the short tiger, and they use the KV4 to the capture circle and reserve that. That was very creative, very <laughs> innovative coming from team efficiency, yeah. and I think think yeah they won that set mm -hmm. it was pretty good i mean it's mm -hmm. like it's got to be a big moral booster for them mm -hmm. but we're already at the loading screen here for okay. game number three okay and uh we've actually asked the production crew to hit tab when they enter the game and show you guys the tank selection so it's a pretty solid train of us to mimic uh some production from i guess you'd say the higher organizations out there but here it is you can see it right now mm -hmm. okay <coughs> Ooh, that's a lot of our u251s coming from team efficiency yeah and they're on defense they are on the defense right now, so I think the T thirty two gonna guard the north, uh, northeast part, but you know they still got a lot of R two by one. The three speed is okay, so just see what they're gonna do. All right. Well, the mobility will certainly help them in the in the yeah. early game, and th all throughout the game as it pans out. But I mean, the question is, which tanks are going to fall first? You've got Amex thirteen nineties coming from Phoenix. Uh, two of them that I can count and see. Our minimap is covering one other tank. But uh, I guess we can maybe worry about that a little bit later. Yeah, this one is a tiny SPG too. Yeah. SPG? Oh, the... And, okay, okay. Wow. FV-3 there. Okay. That's an SPG in artillery? Yeah, it's an yeah, SPG. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's the first time we've ever seen that mm -hmm. in the Wargaming League yeah. ever. Yeah, it's a high speed SP. Alright. And the angle is really nice. What's the reload time on it? Uh, right now it's 12 seconds. That's not bad. Yeah, for before the update is 10 seconds. Okay. <coughs> well, the time being, team efficiency is playing things out very calmly. Phoenix yeah. is also staying collected. Mm -hmm. And. I think the uh, team efficiency play uh, quite stand out way. They have a T thirty two T thirty two guard of fast and use the light tank, you know, they go like this way to check if the enemy on the south side. After they check it, okay they know. Uh, if they didn't see anything, so they know okay you, you guys probably gonna attack from this side. So that's why the M thirteen go here, they gonna go to the, the position for scouts right now. I definitely <laughs> feel like uh, the 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 the, the self-propelled gun there i mean he's certainly fragile but if he can make one shot hit it's definitely going to count mm -hmm. um he is tier six i mean what's this is the thing I've, I've actually never touched Artie, but griven here taking a lot of damage he's gonna have yep. to back down yep. he was spotted by the m13 i think oh he's been track shot and he can't move yeah but no no one can hit him. 
Uh, I wouldn't say that. He took a oh. little bit more damage. No, no, no. He, yeah, he was shot by the comic spawn here. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Now he's out of the game. He just got picked to death. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. The tiny tank destroyer. Destroyer tank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So, oh. we need to see how things are going to pan out here again. Uh, Phoenix is actually on the offensive with that, uh, yep, yep. that SPG. I know, feel like... Uh, if they want to spot the T32, you know, they got to think about something like Elong do. Do you remember the Elong, they put the sniper on the south part, mm -hmm. and the one light hang on the north part, you know, and someone's got here. So when the enemy team, they want to go through the middle, it was sniping by three sides. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if they, they have one tank on the south, so they can kill T32 here right now, but I think the position of the Phoenix is not that good right now. Okay, so Death Sky is now taking a little bit of a chunk of damage there. I mean, he's not too terribly far down. And then Sponsor mm -hmm. in the background got knocked down at 259 HP. He's down to his last sliver there. He's got 6 HP, if I'm reading this correctly. Yep. And Comics and Death Skies have just been spotted. Fresh Meat's going to initiate the capture since he seems to be clear to do so for the time being. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks like that's an EMX 1375, if I'm looking at that correctly. Uh, Is it? Check it. Not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, Hitsune Miko's coming in there for the interception, and he should be able to get that. Fresh Meat's going to fall up. Yeah. I guess it's not. But can I see that? Really? Uh oh, Botech coming in to collapse in on that as well. They're just going to take advantage of this one lone little fresh meat out there in the open. And now he's backpedaling for his life. His engine is in the front of that tank, so if he gets hit at any moment, he could have speed reduced or his tank stopped completely. Bingo Bongo now down to half HP as he tries to intercept and defend his teammate. Not quite panning out. Rodak coming in here to try and lend whatever aid he made. And surprisingly enough, it, wasn't a team, it was a team efficiency tank that took down uh, the kill first. Blade falling in the background and the entire team blows up right in front of our own eyes. Team efficiency not dropping a single tank. Yeah, I think the Elong, they play pretty standout way and tell us how to attack from the northwest part uh, on last week. Because they set up, already set up a sniper on the south side. They know, okay, if you want to reset my capture, you have to go through. I cannot draw in the right now, but you know, players uh, short here on the near the pass. So normally if the uh, enemy wants to reset capture they're gonna go through the south side south side. So uh, on last week the Elong team they used a three sniper on the south so just waiting for you to reset. So it's somewhat they use a, a twelve T I think. It's a trip layer. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. the twelve T? Yeah. Yeah it's twelve T I remember that I remember that. And two lighting on the north. So they totally cover the middle. So they get get got really nice fire no, a uh, nice sniping position, you know. But on the one blood, I think maybe they can check uh, how Elon play on this map if they have the same strategy on the capture. You know. All right, it looks mm -hmm. like we're only waiting for two tanks to pull out their selection, but for the time being, our production crew has prompted us to go into a short break. We'll be back in about 90 seconds, guys. Okay. Don't go away.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to game number four. This one's, of course, going to be on steps. Team efficiency is on defense this time, and Phoenix mm -hmm. is on offense. We've got the mm -hmm. score presently at two to one. Yep. And I'm wondering how things are going to pan out here in game number four. Are we going to see Phoenix take this game or not? All right, so there we go. We got a T32, Amex 1394, RU251s, T37, two Amex 1390s, two RU251s, and two T49s and a T37 coming out from Team Efficiency and Phoenix, respectively. Yeah, and this time T do not use the E25, you know, on the defense side. Right, and there's is there an, there's no SPG here either. Yeah. Is there? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. I was just making sure I was looking at that right. Yeah, I think the SPG, you know, uh, on the accuracy and the DPM is not that good compared to the T37, I think. So that's why they choose the T37. All right. But if they want to use a capture strategy, you know, uh, E25 or 12T is much smaller compared to T37. Okay, so here we go. I mean, this time both sides oh, are rushing up to the east end of the map, and now we see an aggressive exchange of fire already. Mm -hmm. Rodox being targeted for the moment, but yeah. Riven takes the first hit, if I'm not mistaken, down to 952. Oh, they're, They're just going to dive yeah. straight into this. Riven oh, getting the hit. Voltec is at 18, and now out of the game. Sponsor diving in frantically into the front lines to knock oh, it extremely low and take no, it down. It's just right now. Juice is now being targeted. He might get taken down, but not before Sponster from Phoenix. And now it's a three versus four. Phoenix is constantly one take behind in this exchange. They really need some luck from RNG. Yeah, but they have a T49. You know, T49 oh, have man. to hit, or they're gonna lose this one, I think. Uh, and it's on the reload again, is it not? The next shot that hits. Wait, did he just take a hit, take a hit to the ammo rack? Oh, man. And his turret just popped right off. He was full HP at one moment and then taken out of the game. Bingo Bongo now. Chasing down comics and running for his life at the same time. The question is, which does he do first? Looks like he's going to try and uh, lock comics out, but it's yeah. not quite going to work. Well, he gets comics, but yeah, he himself yeah. is more or less forfeit. Death Sky is on the reload, not quite able to follow up. Did he get hit in the ammo rack? Too quick for the reload. Yep. Two tanks remaining from team efficiency. Very tight exchange, but in the end, I mean, Phoenix just didn't have what it takes. As we see, team efficiency take three points. And Phoenix is left at one. Yeah, and that position I think they're rushing is somewhat too fast because of your enemy already ready to die. So uh, I think it's a fresh win, right? Are you two by one the first time? That is true. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. if he pioneered it. Yeah, yeah. He, he is really hard to break through, but maybe they don't want to take the time uh, doing much better on the box fire. But uh, when you're right, trying to rush in, you know, most of the enemy are, are waiting for there, but, you know, that's a, the best chance for them. Maybe they should think, okay, we're going to do that first because of your T-32 is not coming yet. But, you know, finally, uh, you know, most because they choose more lighting, you know, compared to the tin deficiency. Mm -hmm. You know, tin deficiency, also, also the T-32 is not that fast, but it's still close to the fatal field. So, you know, I, I cannot say it's the wrong time because they already rushed together. They, yeah. they cannot be there, so they had to take action as soon as possible. But the T49 is still really critical because of when he hit the enemy, the enemy only have like 200 hit points, mm. and he was amoric. You know, somewhat bad luck, I have to say that. Yeah, if he I didn't mean, stay, maybe you know, he got a chance. At but that I moment, think. at that moment when we saw the T49 taken out of the game, mm -hmm. one thing became apparent, like solidly clear to me. Either A, he was focused down, or B, he was hitting the ammo rack and the turret just blew off. Mm -hmm. um, he was full HP. We kind of lost a little bit of vision on uh, his situation. He was aiming at a tank that was 200 HP. Did he fire a shot, or was it one of his teammates? I'm not sure, but you know, even he shoot, he only take like 200. You know? And not long and afterwards, he, he was taken out. Yeah, and he got 1,000 hit point, but on um, the three tank, the T32 only can make in like 320, and the RU251 240, and 13240. I don't know why he he died, so he must be the blow up or someone DK to kill him. You know. Maybe. But look down at that Tim Q. Maybe he's just back line and get blow up, I think. All right. So we're going to take things into a break. And then once we get back, we are going to go into map number two, game number one. Scores presently 3-1 in favor of team efficiency. Can we mm -hmm. see a comeback from Phoenix? Or are we going to see team efficiency take this match? Okay. Find out in five minutes.
All right, guys, we are back now with map number two. It's going to be Himmelsdorf get Tiger T29. Both tier sevens, I can see the reasons for a T29. If you mm -hmm. hit the turret on that thing, yep. your shot's just going to bounce. Mm -hmm. Unless maybe you hit the back. But yes. And and team deficiency, they have, you know, I think quite a lesson to... And an SPG. They and have an SPG? Yeah. Yeah. And the SPG. Okay. Okay, I got it, I think. The comments use the M44 is a tier 6 SPG there, no, but on this map, normally we can choose M3, 3, or 4, we saw that that might be SPG. So, uh, they may expect uh, the uh, connection as well to use an SPG to bump them. But, but um, um, right now, I think they have different strategy, I guess. Because, uh, the fans may already rush out right now. Okay, so... Oh man, he's actually going straight up that hill. Okay, I can see the reason for this happening, but it looks like Phoenix is taking an adverse strategy. I think it, this is simply in light to the fact that their enemy team yeah. has an SPG. Yeah. They said gonna... if you got SPG, that means you have less firepower on the first banner because you won't use the SPG to go to the front line. So that means you got a short on this one uh, on six point, you know, because the six point is on the hill. On top of that, I feel like this is a real gamble from both sides mm -hmm. because, uh, well, Juice is going out there in his heavy tank, and I feel like he's going to be totally separated. He might get it. He might be able to flank one or two of the en the enemy team tanks, yeah. but I mean, not totally take him down. I think. Well, here we go. Dexter's returning fire with blade, exchanging, and both players hitting one for one. Yeah. And now the plan's been discovered here essentially by team efficiency. Yep. And uh, on the beginning, I think uh, if they rush faster, maybe uh, they can work out better. Um, I, I mean, the Phoenix team, you know. Maybe. Based, uh, based on, on the team efficiency, I feel they are not expect uh, the Phoenix team to rush out. Oh, so yeah. if you, you know, rush it out like a, like a surprise, Juice is already there on the back foot. He's got 204 HP. Joel yeah. getting pinned behind uh, his church there, if you will, behind his little building. But at the same time, <laughs> I mean, Rodak, Bingo Bongo, they're charging in there, and I feel like Phoenix has wow, Megacho, gonna die there. an astounding Megacho, one shot die. Wow, nice. astounding advantage there. Blade, uh, Blade now worn down and out of the game. Team efficiency again on defense, but where on earth is that? Uh, is that SPG when it's needed? It's a four versus five in yeah. the heavy tank battles. The next shots have to hit from that SPG. Yeah, and then right now is the power of KV4 right now. So I think the uh, one blood have to restart the, the position of the KV4. It's not that easy. It's not that easy. Maybe not. Griven and Sponster look like they got a two versus one Tanaka at the moment. Tanaka using his teammate's body there yeah, as yeah. A, a cover, if you will. And he actually yeah. successfully takes uh, Blade out yeah, of the game. You know what? Mistaken. Because there is a two heavy tank. You know, they, they, we got two, you got two heavy tank to rush to fast us. They have a chance to win first, but I don't know why the Finnish team did that go out and waiting for the KV4 come in. You know, after KV4 come here, yeah, everyone is dying. Right. I mean, well, Fresh Meat's running for his life. He's down to one last shot. If the next one penetrates, it's a winning blow. Yep. There it is. But, you know, on the beginning, I think the strategy, uh, they, they saw this. Okay, it's fine, you know, but uh, they are not work out really properly on, you know, on the strategy because on the beginning, if they rush in, I, I can say that must be a surprise because uh, your enemy didn't ready for that, you know. But they stop for like at least 10 seconds. So I think the team efficiency have uh, enough time to arrange uh, the position, you know. One question, Edison, before we go into the break, is it possible for us to see the last game and see how much damage that uh, that SPG did? Uh, or no? 
I mean, is it possible in, no, under no. present circumstances? Yeah, if we can see that, you're gonna you're gonna see a screen here. But you know, right. after we install the mod, uh, the game mod, you know, we we have to install game mod, you know, to to see how they're going. But uh, you know, actually, if they pop up a uh, damage list, we can see that right now. I I I, I cannot uh, call call that show up. All right, all right, all right. I mean, like, maybe if we could just see that. I mean, this is the intricacy of implementing an SPG in the game. It's only the second time in the entire the entire WGL we've seen an SPG. In fact, uh, well, mm -hmm. both times it happened, it happened tonight. Yep. And, it, I, like, the thing is, I feel from an observer's perspective, it's difficult to say what the SPG did there. I'm sure one or two shots hit, but the question is, how much damage did it do? That mm, kind of thing. Okay. But, uh... Mm -hmm. We're still waiting on that prompting from the production crew on whether we should go to a commercial break. Okay, so we're just going to go straight into the next game. Okay. And uh, looks like I... Do you mm. think we're going to see team efficiency with any changes? They still got the same tank loadout, including the M44 SPG. Mm. Um, you know, if you use the M44, you know, somewhat, it's somewhat like you force your enemy rush out. Oh, know? yeah. They, got, they know, okay, you got SPG, so we cannot camp that. If they can better, you know, you're gonna keep bumping. So it will somehow like force your enemy to go out. It somehow, you know, it, you have another effect. Maybe they know, okay, because of, it's a heavy stock, if you guys, everyone camping, uh, it's really hard to attack. So we use one SPG, but your enemy team say, okay, so we cannot camp, we have to rush. And on the other side, the team deficiency can be ready for your rush. And I mean, like, that that's basically true. I feel like getting the SPG in the game there, that's the winning ticket. I think this is some kind of a, a strategy invented by foreign teams. What do you think? Yeah. Maybe Navi, mm -hmm. maybe Dignitas, someone yeah, out yeah, there on yeah. the planet I think, yeah. in Europe possible. or Russia. Yeah, it's possible. You know. I mean, like, we didn't see it in the first week at all mm -hmm. on either two days. Mm -hmm. So that's what led me to believe that this is how we got here. But again, the score is now 4-1. The score is now 4-1, to one, and we've got the exact same tank loadout as game number one, it looks like, from both sides. No deviations whatsoever. No, we don't have an SPG this time. Oh, we don't. Uh, it's changed to the T-37. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, it looks like, I don't know, somehow, I don't understand this choice other than, of course, the team efficiency showing off, hey, we got more than one strategy to employ, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But it uh, looks like, for the time being, they've got a different plan this game around. T-37, it's going to feel like it can be taken down and out of the game, uh, I feel like, very quickly. What do you think, Edison? Uh, I mean, it's going to be there for scouting, but it's not going to be as fragile as a T-1, right? Yeah, much better. Okay. So he's going up the, the eastern hill, uh, and it looks like Phoenix is doing... An, oh, man. I rush that game. Yeah. Okay, well, I, I'm kind of liking this just a little bit. Oh, the position is better, I think. This one. Mm -hmm. They, they realized the error of their ways in game number one, but that T-37 has just gotten vision of everything down there and trying to take out that, that, that scout, as you can see, where all the tanks firing. Yep. Three shots went to him, all three missed. Hmm. And the comments can stand on the heel for nice post night. All right. AGF video looks better oh, okay. than the EU one. He started sniping on the heel. Some comments coming from the chat. Much wow. Does get hit there by the T-37, so that's some nice pickoffs there. I mean, for a T-37, we're talking about a Tier 6 tank mm -hmm. actually doing a significant amount of damage to everything um, on the ground for Phoenix. Mm -hmm. At least contributing to it a little bit more. Griven's already done at a 451 HP. Dexter takes a shot there, doesn't quite penetrate, and the second one does. And he is now down to 1372, but it's 1550. Fresh Meat takes a hit. Maybe dodges one just now. Mm -hmm. I think that was a hit. That was a hit. So Phoenix is actually... How do I say this? Comic's been pretty good in that T-37, but he's still being quite the pestilence. Uh, he's been hit, but that's not going to stop him wow. from firing back. And now he's effectively mm -hmm. speaking one shot at 5 HP. If the next shot doesn't bounce, it will kill him. You can't see that tiger, can he? Wow. Oh, nice hit. Did he actually get much while there? I don't know if he hit the last one, but you know, he doing a lot of damage on the hill side. <laughs> He's a tiny tank, so if he uh, go to the form line, he cannot die very, very fast, but because of the armor heal, no one can shoot him. And now no one can shoot him. It's really hard to be targeted, so you know, he's doing a lot of job there. 
All right. Well, I mean, as things are slated right now, team efficiency is actually the team on offense. I think what Phoenix is doing here is they're going on offensive to keep their enemy team from going in and getting the capture. Remember, if even one tank is alive from Phoenix at the end of this game, when the clock hits 0 0, that means that Phoenix wins the game, effectively speaking. Tiger. Rodak is going to take a shot at Death Skies, and I think that was it. That's a KV4, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, uh, KV4 on the left position is really nice because it's really hard to penetrate and he can keep push, keep, keep pressing the enemy. Man, but here at this little particular location, Juice is in a lot of trouble, and if we can actually see Fresh Meat and mm. Sponster secure that location, they might have a a back to retreat route, but Blade is in yeah. a whole different set of poop right now as we have Dex is down at about 50% HP and still chasing Blade at one shot. Yep. Sponster and Fresh Meat gonna try and come around the corner and give some, some supporting fire. Looks like it's not quite working out. Rodak mm. and that Tiger now backed behind the fountain. And Fresh Meat wow. still... Wow, Tommy keeps sniping him. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, wow. okay, we finally see him. I'm going to hit him. Yeah, he cannot. Oh, you know, He's he, doing a lot he of damage. Him. Wow. It's like that one shot, that one shot, that 5 HP that he still has in the game. And it's mm -hmm. keeping him alive. Fresh meat down to, again, one shot. Sponster doing his best to stay alive. Botek was lit on fire and the extinguisher went immediately. Yeah, it's such a close game, you know. I think in the comics on the hillside totally work out right now. Mm -hmm. So critical on that. If he even hit Sponster once, he would have taken, taken him down and out of the game. But uh, now it's all up to fresh meat. I, I feel like if he's got enough luck, he can win this. If everyone turns the corner one time, one at a time, he might have a chance. But he's in an AMX 50, mm -hmm. if I'm looking at this correctly. Yeah, the fresh meat is an uh, AMX 50. Turns the corner, dodges a shot. Botek's going to try and cut him off, I think. Yeah, they almost win this one. He's waiting almost. for him to turn the corner. Yep. You know he you're going to go out. Boom. There it goes. Unfortunately, that will end Fresh Meat's life in this game, and this will end Phoenix's uh, match for the evening. The end score is now five to one. A little bit more one-sided than I expected. I thought the end score would. I thought both sides would have had at least three points by now. Mm -hmm. uh, initially. Yeah, yeah. I think no. The, the strategy on the on the fantasy is okay. I think, but you know coordination still have not that good compared to the team efficiency. Yeah. But you know, this one, I, I feel they rush the central square is okay, really fine, but uh, they didn't expect later sniper on the hill side. And uh, somewhat bad luck, I have to say that, you know. Because T29 shoot him, and he only have maybe less than 20 hit points. No. It was, yeah, it was crazy. I mean, like, we saw comics up there. Was it, it was comics in the T37, right? Yeah, he's a 37 day and he almost died, but you know, if he didn't uh, keep making the damage on the hills, I, I, get, I guess he at least making more than 1,000. I you feel know, like... It, it, somewhat like a 1 tier A damage, you know. Yeah, I mean, I feel like maybe a part of that was luck, because after all, I mean, it's, it's, a, randomly, it's a randomly generated number that determines how much damage you do mm -hmm. to a tank. Mm -hmm. If it had just been 5 more, mm -hmm. then we would have seen no vision and a lot less in the way of flanking firepower yep. applied by comics in this game. So, I mean, that was definitely a good call by team efficiency. Mm -hmm. um, they use their every single tank mm -hmm. on their team down to the very, the very hair of their teeth, or the very skin of their teeth, Mm -hmm. to uh, get themselves through this game. And that's going to take us now into our next set. That's going to be Charlotte Tiger versus Horseman. Uh, yep, okay. Underdogs mm -hmm. versus Titans. David versus Goliath all mm -hmm. over again. How about that? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I think Charlotte Tiger, you know, much yeah. better compared to the Horseman. You know, on if the season one, I would say the Horseman better, but, you know, if you're seeing to the Charlotte Tiger, it's total difference right now. Yeah, they revamped their strategy totally and completely. Mm -hmm. That's how they made it to Season 2 Finals. But we'll, we'll see how they do versus Horsemen after the short break, guys. Don't go away. Okay.
Hey, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to our next set. In case you guys missed the last one, it was a team efficiency versus uh, uh, Phoenix. Phoenix, and yeah. the end score was 5 to five. 1. A little bit more one sided than we expected, but maybe mm -hmm. it'll be a little bit closer between Charlotte Tiger and Horseman. Mm -hmm. What do you but, think, Edison? Yeah, but no, here is the Prokonovka. You know, Charlotte Tiger always doing really good on the Prokonovka, so if they use a strategy, I think the Horseman cannot win them, but uh, on the tank alone uh, right now, M41s, RU251s, T69s, and an AMX 1390 coming from Horseman. Mm -hmm. Lots of RU251s. One T32, two AMX 1390s, two T32s, excuse me, and a T37. All right, so they're going with the 68 loadout while we've got the uh, while we've got the Horseman going out with the 587. All right. Yep. Yep. And. Uh, on the side of the Charlotte Tiger, uh, they have a T2, T32, so they cannot play more defensive, I think. Mm -hmm. mm. All right, so we're just waiting for both of our teams to give us the get going ready. And uh, that should be, I mean, basically the signal that we need to get into this game. Yep. So, <laughs> what do you think the end score will be, Edison? Uh, Five to what? And for which team? No, I, I bet the Shadow Tiger is going to win this one, but, you know, I cannot say how what's the end score right now, you know. All right, mm -hmm. I, I'm thinking 5-3. Mm -hmm. Maybe. But I think they cannot have better score, maybe like 3 one score. Yeah. Yeah. Edison was just saying it could be four to zero or three to one uh, at the end score at the end of this map because of Charlotte Tiger's performance on it. Mm -hmm. Two Amex 1390s, some CT, two RDU 251s, two T32s, and a T37 for CT, and two T69s, an Amex 1392, RDU 251s, and two M41 Bulldogs coming from Horseman. All right, so. Okay, uh, the Charlotte Tiger used two T32, so they can like more defensive. They're gonna go to. I think a heavy tank is gonna go to E6, but I cannot draw the map right now because they didn't, you know, they yeah. didn't, <laughs> they didn't use my uh, the, the the battle board. So right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So we don't have the we don't have the mini map support at the moment. Yep. So yep. you guys can't see <laughs> what we see on the mini map, but okay. uh, here we are. Gorilla's going up there, and now yeah, he's coming back. So okay, uh, because of the T32 is there, that means he cannot spot enemy and they use our light tanks on the A6 for sniping. Oh, upper legs was spotted, so uh, if, a shot, if a horseman can kill him, oh no, only one. a big one. leg up in the early game. No, only a only couple seconds, I think. So. Plateau's been exposed too. Both the T-32s <coughs> have been. Yep. But, of course, most of the horsemen's on the south side of that hill, and now they're backing to the west end of the map. I like that move, but Opelisk will be able to spot them. Yeah, but right now they're gonna keep trying to kill the Opelisk, but it's too risky because of, you know, wow, the gorilla was spotted. So yeah. He's already oh, done Opelisk a 580 was spotted too. too. Opelisk taking 235. He's done a 235 out of 580 on his tank, and now he's backpedaling for dear life. It looks like they might have lost vision of him as most mm -hmm. of the shots are going to an outdated location. Yep, the spotty only 10 seconds, so, yeah. you know. Pretty good we, exchange. Yeah, yeah, if you didn't get a chance to kill him, you know, you're gonna lose that. All right. Oh, yeah. the shot attack can go to the east part. They're gonna push together right now because the T-30 already stand on the E6 for exactly. defense. Exactly. Yep. So right now, the shot attack, they have a two side to sniping right now, but uh, in order to break this one, I think the horseman have to pull back and uh, go through the south side. If they can flank into the south hill, I mean uh, in the south east hill, they can win this one pretty easy. You know, right. but Spencer there getting a little bit overzealous. Yep. yep. He's in the Amex 1390, taking shots on <coughs> just the Amex 1375 to the front end can do mm -hmm. a lot of damage to the engine. Mm -hmm. And of course the, the ammo rack itself also trolls quite a bit. Yep, yep. They only want to use a T32 to shoot a Spencer right now, but you know, uh, T32 cannot close. Close the, the middle right now. <laughs> right. Wow, Apple is shooting the Spencer. 
Yeah, he's making those shots hit, too. I don't think Spencer has vision. He does not. He's actually mm -hmm. running for dear life at the moment. This is the most stressful position you can be in yep. in any tank. When you're being shot at and you can't see what is shooting at you. Even in the bushes, he is exposed. <laughs> he has not disappeared. <laughs> Yep. And Opalus continues to fire away mm -hmm. almost uncontestedly. Spencer, I think his turret ring is damaged. Yeah, yeah. Just fixed it. And now Opalus dies <laughs> just before Spencer. Yeah. So one leg up for the horseman. Yeah. I think the horsemen have to, you know, they got to go through the guy way faster because of, you know, the T32 for sniping is not good at all because of the gun is not that accurate for more than 1400 meters. Right, and shots hitting Polly, but I also want to go ahead and remark that uh, presently, even though Horsemen, they're, they w they are one tank up, that mm -hmm. doesn't mean they win this game if the clock yep. hits zero. They have to capture, they have to kill all of the tanks mm -hmm. on Charlotte Tiger to get the win. Yep. <clears throat> Here we go. But, you know, uh, because of Spencer was waste too much HP there, you know, if they rush in to kill the uh, T32, T37 for first. And they can use uh, M1319 right now, but you know, he almost died, so he cannot do anything, only sniping. But the position for him is not sniping at all. You know. it's, okay. a, it, it's a position for rush, for ready for rush, but on the hit point, he cannot do anything about that. Yeah, Spencer's gonna stay hidden in the bush for the time being. Um, can't really blame him for that decision, considering he's at 93 HP. Mm -hmm. But, uh, I mean, it's either stay, stay put and deal out DPS once we see some tanks exposed. Oh. Yeah, but right now, you know, if the Colin and another one, you know, go to the northwest, he can snipe in the T-32 there. Oh, man. Archon just spotted both of those T-32s, and it looks like we've got uh, the rest of Horsemen maybe ready to dash over that hill. They've got two minutes to do something about this game. Yeah, yeah, but... This uh, might the, be their chance. Yeah, but the Shadow Tiger already ready for their rush right now. They're they getting knew. ready to snipe! Yeah, they know. Okay, you're gonna snipe into my T-32. I'm gonna kill you guys over. This is a situation where you do not want to focus the T-32s, but Horseman has no other choice. Yeah. All he's Whoa. getting focused down very well. Mm -hmm. Nice move. But Gorilla is down to about one shot himself, only at 92 HP. Coin or Colin there is going to go in from behind and try and get the flank on the T32. Yeah, Not he have to leap here, you know, as soon as possible. You know, he can just capture. You know, he don't have too fast to the T32 because of, you know, a lot of people gonna snap him. Right, and in the background we see Rex going for the capture. Plateau, oh, so close to falling. First. Wow. Nice. Okay, so for the time being, our underdogs are mm. at. Five. Well, they were at they were at five operational tanks, and now they are at four. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if we see Charlotte Tiger go in for a head-on exchange, they will come out on top in the yeah, end. Yeah, they got to rush out as soon as possible because actually they have the hit point advantage. Right? Yeah, they do. But, you know, they have to be more brave. And the key point is none on the mid tank. You do see the F five. You have to hit. Oh, your teammate gonna fight. There we go. 17, 16 seconds remaining on that capture, and now Charlotte Tiger's making their move. Whoa. One is way out of position. Who can do that? Whoa! Nice. One for one there in the capture circle. Spencer trying to make Whoa. beautiful magic Sniping. happen. No. Oh, nice he's gotta make that hit on he Akio! Whoa. He gets it, but Hiwami is still alive and in the game, and he is hidden. If he can stay alive for 30 more seconds, we will see Charlotte yeah, Tiger victorious. Capture. They know he don't want me on the heel side. It's too late for 33 second and the reset capture, you know. Maybe. Mm. Here we go. So, well, 24, 24. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can he do that? Can <laughs> they do it? Is the real question. They're going to come just a little bit far Whoa. behind the 0 0 timer. Mm. Just a little bit behind. Right now oh, it's neck it's and neck. This is Joe. Yeah. So that means in this situation, Charlotte Tiger should win unless there's some kind of a bug mm -hmm. with the mod or the game itself. And Horsemen doing what else they can besides try to get the capture. Zero, zero hits, three seconds remaining on that capture. Mm -hmm. Horsemen bite the dust, but just barely. Yeah, a little bit late, I think. Because, yeah. But, you know, I think the Shadow Tiger, they uh, successfully reset a capture. So, and they know, okay, maybe if you reset, I just run away and you cannot win this one. So that's why the M13 go to the heel top. Right. Mm -hmm. That was perfect coordination all around the board. Now for the time being, I think mm -hmm. we're ready to maybe jump here into game number two. In case you guys just happen to tune in to catch the tail end of that, the score is now 
uh, 1-0 in favor of Charlotte Tiger. Mm -hmm. Very clutch game pulled out by Horseman. Yeah. But, I mean, in the end, I mean, the score is there. It speaks for itself. It's not a total slaughter. Mm -hmm. We actually saw Horseman doing quite well in that final exchange. Mm -hmm. um, but, I, I, again, we have, to, we have to call on Edison the master to tell us, what do you think went wrong there for Horseman? I think uh, they have to kill the T-37 uh, on the beginning, you know, because of the T-32 on the left far, uh, on the east side and the sniper, sniper on the east side. That means you, he's alone there, you know. Yeah. So you got so many light hang. If you rush in, use 102. Not too much, you know, 102 uh, rush in and spot there. An AR tanker can kill him, you know, because of compared to range, the distance. Uh, all your enemy have really, uh, they got to shoot uh, far more than 500 meters. It's not that easy to hit. I'm not yeah. talking about you cannot hit them, but uh, on the chance side, you, you got a higher chance to, to kill the T-37 first. After you kill that, you can got really nice spot position on the, uh, on the north part, and you can shoot the T-32 from the north to south to the middle. But if you miss the chance, you know, it's really hard to win. I mean, the, that's why the Spencer go to the, you know, Spencer, when Spencer trying to uh, spot a T-32, he got a lot of punishment there. It was. I mean, like, he was taken down to 93 HP. Yeah, yeah. If he didn't got so many damage, you know, he can, he can push forward much earlier and he can, you know, somehow like block uh, enemy to reset the capture, but he only had 200 hit points, he cannot do anything there. You know? I mean, it was okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, he did what they did what they could, and maybe we'll see things change here in game number two, but mm -hmm. for the time being, we are going to take things into a 90 second break, and then we'll be back with game number two. Again, Horseman on the offense and CT on defense. Don't go away, guys. Okay. All right, guys, we are back now with game number two between Horseman and Charlotte Tiger. It was very climactic game number one there, and I'm hoping things will be equally as climactic in game number two. It looks like mm -hmm. there have been no changes in yeah, takes. No changes. Okay. And as you can see here at Tank, uh, with the Tank loadout, there have been absolutely no changes whatsoever. We still have uh, Charlotte Tiger, I guess you could say, espousing the 6-8 composition while we have Horseman going for the 5-8-7 composition. That would be mm -hmm. 5 tier 8s and 2 tier 7s. Mm -hmm. So, M41 Bulldog, of course, you said it does like what, 90 I damage mean, a shot? I, I think uh, Horseman changed something. Uh, they did? Yeah, or changed someone driving the M13. Because uh, oh. Spencer driving M13, right? But right now he drives the... Uh, the board oh, okay, okay, okay. He probably trusts one of his teammates with uh, the fire, the coordinated fire, just a little bit more. So I can understand that choice. Mm -hmm. All right. So two T32s rushing out to the center of the map all over again, coming from uh, Charlotte Tiger mm -hmm. and an exchange of fire. We did see the horseman train make something happen there, but no hits, nothing solid. Yep. 
Oh, you missed it. Stage of fire, Obelisk there. there again. You know, mm -hmm. they know that. Back to your six. I mean, like, it's so annoying, right? Mm. Insanely accurate. What's the caliber of the cannon on an, on, uh, a, on a T-37? Do we know? Uh, it's 30, uh, 76 millimeter gun. Oh, wow. Not okay. bad. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Oh. M6 has the same one. Yep. Okay. And this time... Oh. 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 Bulldog. Oh. Hitman there. He know. He, know. he likes the speed better. Okay, now we see clearly why he switched out the, the AMX 1390 yep. for that M41 Bulldog. Wow, keep missing. Mm -hmm. And the Bulldog will rush in and trying to, you know, the, the, the trying to kill the Opalist there. Oh, well, Harkon there is not looking too terribly good. But he does finally catch on to Opelisk's position, yeah, and he's going to force him out of position. But maybe he will not be alive to tell that tale to his grandkids. Mm -hmm. Well, wow. Opelisk falls first Ooh. before Archon. Okay. He's still spotted, though. He's still yeah, spotted. He yeah. has to get. He has to wait for. Oh. Uh, you know, he should turn that faster because the T32 is not accurate. You see that he missed a lot. The two T32 missed a lot. Uh oh. Spencer in some trouble now as well, but he, he does get over a hill. I think he's safe for the time being. As yeah, because of his speed. Right, as long as he doesn't go higher in altitude, he's okay. Okay, so... I mean, like, checking who came out ahead in that exchange, they definitely say it wasn't Horseman, but that's not necessarily game-ending damage if they use Spencer quite efficiently later on. Yeah. We saw that he likes to just hide, hang back a little bit, and then he reveals himself when he is needed. I think if the two portal just rush it, uh, something's great. So they can do it much better by you know, winding up or like down you know, to, to kill t instead of on that position. <coughs> okay. So. Let's see how this pans out. I mean, okay. again, we can see on the minimap what is happening for the time being. We see. Uh, horsemen are struggling for just a little bit more ground. They're struggling for a little bit more vision, but it looks like at the same time they've stacked up quite a few of their tanks to... Yeah, he's checked. Yeah, he tracked <laughs> himself. Did he, did he expend his, his consumable? Did he use no, his consumable? No. Okay. No, he would repair like a five second. He'd probably call it stand up or lighting. All right, all right. I can see that happening. So, I mean, his, his crew is on stand... Uh, or not stand His crew is on steroids. It's not Coca-Cola. It's not coffee. It's steroids. <laughs> okay, maybe they I should make that repair, repair skill on the, you know, it's a, how do you say that, the tournament account, so, you know, the player have the full skill crew. What's the maximum you can get to on a full skill crew? 125 percent? Uh, let me think about that. I forgot. Maybe 128. I've seen them at 110 before. Mm -hmm. 110 has a... That's not a standard because you don't have the brother in arm. So if you got a one uh, brother in arm and use other you know, supplement, you will gonna got higher skill rate later. Alright, so again it, we're approaching that two minute fifty second mark and horseman mm -hmm. hasn't really made too terribly much happen here. I I feel like if they have any idea oh they're making a move now, they're rushing, they realize they yeah. can't wait too yeah. much longer. Yeah and right now they're gonna rush. I think they can do the same strategy again. Oh, they got killed a T32 first. They got stick, stick together. <laughs> yeah. Okay, they have to do that as soon as possible because of the, you know, the Japanese team already didn't move to the north side if they rush in right now. They can do that and do it as soon as possible. Oh, there we go. Polly's oh, in the center. Okay. He's taking shots at Gorilla. The coordinated fire looking a little bit stronger from Horseman this wow. time around. That is a single He's T32 down. isolated quite simply put. Plateau there is now mm. next on the menu. Yeah. Horseman's voracious appetite, and it's going to be Hitman right next to Plateau. I'm thinking, oh, wow. is that friendly fire? Yeah, it's that friendly, was fire. friendly fire. I see what you're doing there, Rex. I yeah. see what you're doing there. Yeah, it's a dodge and shot, so uh -oh. he can have aim that accurate. Backfiring just a little bit. Horseman, oh, his turret Rex, sunk. Turret, turret ring is busted. Yeah. That's why the T32 is still alive. Oh no, he just tried to fire with the the turret ring there, but it just didn't work out. Plateau now struggling, not really struggling there, but he's alive for the time being. Not Russian, just backfired on Horseman a little bit. They're all low HP, yep. but it's a four versus three scenario. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can see how this might work out for them. Yep. But they they have to kind of count a little bit on R and Jesus to give them some help. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the underdogs versus the the season two uh, grand finalists, season two's uh, actually third prize winners. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. So the capture has been initiated. That's going to bait out some pot shots coming from uh, Charlotte Tiger. I feel like the coordination is a little bit loose mm -hmm. from Horseman. Would yeah, you agree? I pulled that. Because the P32 still alive is so bad, I have to say that, you know. A little. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, wow. there he goes. He's out of the game. 50 seconds remaining on that capture. And as long as someone stays right in that now. circle, he'll be all right. And that last AMX 1390 oh. heading to the northeast corner of the map. Mm -hmm. Charlotte Tiger playing to Yeah, the Hiwami wrong again. You know, if they cannot get a Hiwami, they still cannot win this one. I mean, maybe there's a part of them that already knows this, but mm -hmm. at the same time, all the tanks are just splitting up and running away. This is not looking good. Yep. At least not for not for horsemen. Maybe they can play the same style. Maybe it'll work to their advantage. But Spencer already cutting off Tommy Ooh. just a little bit there. Uh, the turret range oh. is still alive, but he gets saved by his Amex 1390 toting companion. I'm sorry, I actually thought for a moment that, that, that was my mistake. It was actually four versus four, but I mean, Hiwami's been so low HP for so long that we couldn't really tell. Mm -hmm. Capture's been reinitiated, but to what avail? There's 90 seconds to go on it and only three seconds remaining in this game. So, that puts us at 2-0. A little bit less climactic there than game number one on this map. Yeah, but you know, uh, I think they have to, if they want to, to focus fire on T32, I think they can do that better. Um, we can see that they didn't do that good, you know. If mm -hmm. they kill T32 real fast, they can capture, you know, much earlier because they, you know, T32 ju can just show up torrent and reset a capture. So I mean, I think they take to such a long time, maybe they can kill him uh, maybe 10 seconds earlier, you know. We can also see, I mean, like a good deal of the error there coming from Horseman. We saw Rex dive in on that one T32, yeah. and uh, yeah. it just it didn't uh, work he out. Don't, he don't have to do that. He can, sh he can k kill him on the ridge, you know, kill yeah. him on the short hill. He don't have to march in because of if you're close to your enemy, and uh, your, your sniper also kills to you, you know. If you take a longer distance, you know, for a T-32, you're not that far, only 200 meters, but for your enemy sniper, is 400 meters. So he, yeah. he, he trying to snipe you, it's not that easy. And you, you can shoot a T-32, no, it's not that hard because it's only 200 meters. I mean, I think in theory, the, the area they should have rushed to should have been a little bit closer to the train tracks. Do you think so, Edison? Or yeah, no? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, if they had just simply lined up and gone over the hill, they would have gotten the T-32s, and they would have been less exposed to the sniper fire. Yeah. They can try trying to kill the T-32 first, you know, because of, I know, okay, there are a lot, a lot of sniper, but, uh, you know, they are light tank without cover. So, yeah, uh, if you capture, not capture, you close to the capture circle, you can see them on the real way. So, if they want to uh, sup offer the support fire from the north side, you can it really easy to snipe in them and force them pull back. Once they pull back, you can kill T32 quite easy, but you know, there is near a lot of coordination, not that easy. You know? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's going to end the offensive round for mm -hmm. Horsemen, and now that's going to put Charlotte Tiger on the offense this time around. Are we going to see a clean sweep 4 0 on map number one, or are we going to see mm -hmm. a 3 1 or a 2 2? We're going to find out after this 90 second commercial break, guys, so go away.
as we are back now with the offensive round for Horseman again. That would also be the, excuse me, uh, the defense. offensive round for Charlotte Tiger yeah. mm -hmm. and the defensive round for Horseman. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking like with as close as those first two games were, I'm mm -hmm. thinking Horseman should be able to take the next two games on defense, I yeah, think. They got a chance, but you know, uh, I think coordination you know, or personal skills still have some problem on this one because of, uh, like we, we, we said before, you know, you want to tier, kill a T32, you don't have to rush in. And okay, if you want to rush in, you still have other way to deal with T32, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, like uh, I have to say that you got a sniper on the north, right? Mm -hmm. You see the T32 there. You can use a T32 as cover to, uh, in order to you know, avoid the sniping from the north side. You know? All right. Yeah, but, you know. <laughs> Okay, we see uh, Tango Lolo, uh, Horseman. Horseman, they didn't change, right? There's three RU251s oh, no, 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 and no, no, a single no. AMX 1390. Yeah, they changed the, they use a two four dog, no, no, they use one RU251 with a T37. It's changed for the two four dog. But the Star Tiger, they got six, seven right hand. That means they're gonna rush. Yeah. Wow, we oh man! See the rush. Okay, so we've got again Horseman sporting that six-eight-six composition. Well, we've got Charlotte Tiger going with the uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're going with the five-eight-seven, I believe. Both sides actually doing the six. Uh, yeah, yeah. Charlotte Tiger five-eight-seven, six-eight-six from Horseman. Here we go. <coughs> okay. Reno is piling over the hill, exposed yeah, but protected by see, a rock. T-sixty-seven. We will work out because he's a mid tank. He got more firepower. If he can do much better, you know, compared to our one trouble. here. Plateau at 93 HP is going to back down first. Horseman coming off strong with that rush to the front line. Yeah, Reno yeah, taking a good check of damage. Is really nice, you know. Yeah, none at 500 HP. Plateau still there. Okay, I know it's done. Plateau is out. 221 oh. for Akio, and he's taken down and out of the game. Horseman now up two tanks. To these Japanese juggernauts. Mm -hmm. Rex now coming in there. He's down to 486, wow, 149 nice. for this companion Archon. And we do see that Renault is taken down in the background. Polly down to oh, 149 down and two. gone. And now it's a one for four exchange. I wouldn't say Horseman necessarily had this made, but it's mm -hmm. certainly going in their favor. Iwami does get vengeance on his teammates by taking Rex out of the game. Wow, and now nice. he himself is dealt with. 671 remaining on Opelisk, 459, 680, 656, 424 on Tomi, and Opelisk is out of the game. 2 211 on Tomi, yes, and over. now gone. Wow. Horseman. Yeah. Amazing coordinated fire. Yeah, and this time I say in the Shadow Tiger make a big problem. There is T67. Yeah. yeah, there is T67 and ready for shield. And they just go out, you know. And stand the hill trying to shoot other other member. He they didn't focus on the T uh, CT uh, CT uh, nine first because he's a mid tank, got a higher uh, hit point, they got a better armor, so they didn't end him. But they go to the hill top and stand there trying to shoot other members, but it, you know, auto loader just kill them. That is right. I mean, like, we just saw solid coordination all the way across the board. We saw Horseman mm -hmm. choosing everything, just, like, making all the correct decisions in this game. Yeah. Um, going into the game, of course, they have the T-69s. Mm -hmm. And those, I mean, like, I'm not sure how they perform against RU-251s, per se, but, I mean, versus Amex 1590s, if you, as you have said, mm -hmm. they counter the Amex 1390s. The mm -hmm. only drawback to them is that they have four shots, and if you miss all four of those shots, you're effectively speaking, mm -hmm. you're, you're on the reload for how long? Mm -hmm. 30 uh, seconds? 22. 22 seconds, yeah, 22 okay. 22 seconds, but you know, he, he make it, no, both T69, you know, they, they almost didn't miss any shot in the beginning, so they just output, you know, they right. shoot at uh, 1000 first and then pull back, you know, it all, all already make a lot of damage on the path too, I think. Yeah, the damage output is there. Mm -hmm. um, it was beautiful, mm -hmm. it was amazing, I mean, mm -hmm. they focused down Plateau first, and what is Plateau piloting right now? Uh, we got a bit of a change coming in with game number two. It looks like... Yeah, he joined with the RU251 and, you know, the first one. He uh, only only like 100 hit points left, so right. he cannot fight, just pull back, you know. Right, <laughs> okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not too sure if we're taking things into a commercial break or not. Did yeah, we get any pumps? Get, yeah, we didn't get a message right now. Yeah, okay, so... 
For the time being, I mean, we can speculate at how things are going to go here in game mm -hmm. number four. Actually, mm -hmm. game number two on <coughs> offense for Charlotte Tiger. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm thinking, you know, they, there's that saying, lightning never strikes twice in the same place in mm -hmm. America. Yeah, maybe they cannot do that same again, but, you maybe. know, uh, if the Charlotte Tiger knew, okay, we got two T69, maybe they won't rush that fast. You know. Maybe they can stand an out of position for sniping the T69 and it's going to work out, I think. Right, mm -hmm. and I mean, like, this is a strategy that we saw Charlotte Tiger employing even in the season, the season finals of season two. Yeah, uh, yeah. Choosing five RU two five ones, and and in some sets, some instances, making it to the very last game of their set. Yeah, but you know, uh, on that scenario, they the enemy didn't choose the mid time. Right. Yeah, that's light no, hand. Yeah, light hand rush to the light hand, so mm, it's somewhat. Uh, maybe, maybe you know, if you rush to the mid tank, it's somewhat different story because T69 is for con con uh, is designed for counter right hand. So you know. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it looks like we're finally getting the tanks into the game, but I mean, we still don't have a, a prompt from our production crew in which direction we are going to go with this. Is it going to be you mm -hmm. know a 90 second commercial break, or are we just going to stay here <laughs> yeah, going on about hey, dialogues? Look, they already forget us. <laughs> All right. Maybe they were Maybe, <laughs> maybe. But uh, I think I just heard go. I'm not sure what that means. No, no, for. not really. Because the is still on the tank selection. You know. All right. Yeah. Well, so we'll be back in about 90 seconds, guys. Don't go away. Mm hmm All right, guys. Now we are back with offense game for Charlotte Tiger, and mm -hmm. the score is two to one in favor, of course, for our team from Japan. Mm -hmm. And they have shown some pretty strong coordination all throughout the uh, Silver Series um, of season one. They mm -hmm. made it to the the season finals, and of course here, mm -hmm. it's, uh, season two, they made it to the grand finals. Yep. Um, of season two. So Here's they're doing really nice on the season two. Humongous change in tank selection coming out from Charlotte Tiger. IS-3, T-32, Amex-1390, RU-251, T-49, and 59-16. What's yeah, the specialty of the 59-16 yeah. again? Oh, it's an autoloader light hand, Chinese light hand. But uh, actually, I don't, I'm not that like the tank because I feel the border is better than him. But, you know, this time, uh, the short attack is going to rush to the middle again. This is it's a juggernaut composition. In, yep, yep, yep. I know it's quite wide, weird because of they are split to two parts. And the horseman is going to stand on the hill and it keeps shooting the I3 and T32 first. You know, if they, uh, they discover you are split to two parts, it's going to kill him first. But, you know, uh, if they cannot dodge the shot, they have to up hill and kill the heavy tank first. I know, I mean, that's what they're forced to do in this particular situation. The T32 yeah, hanging, yeah. hanging back, actually cruising forward while we have... Uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, the IS-3 cruising forward while we got the T32 hanging back just a little bit. M41 Bulldog coming around here for a flank, but at the same time, we've got amazing coordinated fire coming from Charlotte Tiger. Be that as it may, uh, Polly's now down to 217 HP and out of the game. Mm -hmm. That's a one-for-one. One. It took a lot yeah, of HP yeah. off of Colin, who's now out of the game. 
and Spencer's just diving in there, trying to get Iwami Ooh. out of that T-49. He wants it dead and gone. Wow. And now there He's it is. He's still alive. Yeah, it's five to five for the time being, although two very low HP tanks from Horsemen. Mm -hmm. All right, so there, get, there it is. Unfortunately, we got, uh, I think that was none that fell there. And now we've got Reno at 515. Rex pioneering that fight. Oh, Rex cannot rush you out. Oh, no, he he's going straight to a death trap. Out. He's backing out. Yeah, he had no cover there, you know. Is that the 5916 Opelisk is in? Yeah, he's an autoloader, so he shoot oh, him man. a lot there. It's a lot of damage. Plateau is stuck back there just a little bit, and I feel like the next shot will be the one that seals Rex out of the game. <laughs> Horsemen, with, right now in the present circumstances, it's a two versus four. They're very low HP tanks. If they can stay alive while simultaneously preventing a capture, um, while the clock hits zero zero, that's when we can see them win. But I feel like that's that's easier said than done. Much much easier said than done. Mm -hmm. Archon now running for his dear life as his teammate was shot out of the game. <coughs> and he's returning fire as best he can. Wow. Dodging shots. Well, simultaneously dealing them out. <coughs> All right. They don't have a chance right now. Fix it in the beginning, you know. Uh, I say that. You know, okay, okay, you got Another it. Another dodge. You, you still have to have tank. And the other tank, you can't see anyone. It takes they rush to the outside. So on the beginning, they have to stand, stand on the, you know, the frontier. I mean the hilltop and trind to kill the T-32 and I-3 first. You, you, you don't have too much time because the like, light tank is going to come here really soon. But you got a really nice chance up here. Use the T-69 to shoot four rounds you know, first. But on the beginning, they didn't do it. They didn't do that good because most of tank are dodge shot. I mean, right, uh, right. you got a seven tank, right? You go, you go, uh, your enemy only have two. So you just up here, stand there, kill them. Don't dodge shot. You know, you, when you dodge shot, you're going to miss a lot because of, you know, the accuracy is going to be lower. I'm looking at the tanks right now. I mean, they had, uh, they had an IS-3 and they also had what? It was, it's gone now, but was it a T-32? Yeah, it's a T-32, an IS-3 on the middle trying to check the attention of the horsemen mm. and, and use the light hand for flanking. But on that moment, it's a bet. Because of such a strategy, you will meet an immortal. They cannot just stand on the heel top and kill you. you know? right. I, but I don't know. Why, why the horsemen, you know, they keep the dodge, keep it forward, back, forward, back. You cannot lower your DPM. You cannot lower your accuracy. So That's true. On the beginning, we see, we see the light hand. At least, they shot at least 10 times, only to penetrate. It's really worse, I say that. If they all penetrate, you know, to have tank already die, and you can deal with a lot of light tank really soon, you know. So let me ask you this. If they've taken all seven of their tanks to the western side of the map to deal with all those light tanks coming out for the rush, the sniping, mm -hmm. and all that stuff, do you think we would have seen a win from Horsemen in this situation? It's uh, a little hard to the, say. Uh, I mean, the heavy tanks just, li just need a little bit more time to get there. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, because they already have a heavy tank you know, on the assault side. And, uh, you know, okay, other, your enemy or the light tank, they can push you know, quite slow and show up touring and take time, you know, trying to concern your hit point. But it still need time. I cannot say so, say uh, uh, you must win that, but, you know, a more, more, you know, uh, conserve way, more standard way. But if you have a light tank, you have to know light tank. You got speed, you got DPM. You cannot play that slow. You, know, right. you need more confidence if you. The, uh, most of the tank, I think the light tank is still being uh, hard to, to learn, hard to drive because of you need more confidence. And oh yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, because you you got you know quite low hit point and oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you are trying to uh, kill a light heavy tank, you got a seven light tank and the uh, enemy only have two heavy. You need more bravery, mm -hmm. don't dodge shot, you know. I really had, if you got, I, 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 why I said it, like playing war. Sometimes I feel, I see my member, you maybe, oh, they, ha they have five light tank versus two heavy tank. You can just stand there. You don't have to run and shoot or dodge shot. Just stand there and kill them as soon as possible. Like I said, because on the exchange of DPM, you got light higher, you, but you got lower hit point. So right. just kill him. Faster, don't miss anyone, and you're gonna win that one. But um, most scenario, yeah, I know that. <laughs> it's there. I mean, mm -hmm. like we 
we all saw it. We were able to see it. It was it was kind of painful to deal with, mm -hmm. uh, at least from Horseman's perspective. But we'll be back in about five minutes, about six, seven minutes with mm -hmm. the next set. And that's going to be between, of course, Charlotte Tiger and Horseman. Mm -hmm. But the map is going to be Steps, so don't go away, guys. Okay. All right, guys, we are back. Now, the second map is going to be Steps. Mm -hmm. You know, the step become a really popular popular right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, on previous season, we almost didn't see any team love to play the step. But, you know, <coughs> Thirteen-nineties, two RU two five ones, M four A one Bulldog. I think the IS three there is mm -hmm. going to be the core of the team for Charlotte Tiger. Two T thirty twos, Amex thirteen ninety two, RU two five ones, two M forty one Bulldogs coming out from Horsemen. Yeah, Edison yeah. yeah. was just saying this is the least practiced map, yeah. or not the least practiced map, but the least played map in season two, right? Yep, yep. And right now it's totally different. You know, everyone played this one. You know. Oh, then Kerm. Uncle might got problem there, you know. Well, I mean, I think I might be able to see why they chose this map. That is to say, Horseman. I mean, um, it could be that, you know, maybe they've seen Charlotte Tiger play the least on this map, and they're trying to take advantage of that <coughs> by practicing their hearts out on this map, right? 
Um, maybe, might be, because, uh, but you know, this one become really popular. Right? Archon's at 910 HP for the time being. And I feel like his, yeah, his back is turned to that entire team. He just spotted three yep. of them, four of them. Yep. And now he might be in a lot of trouble. He's, mm -hmm. he's down to 585 HP. There's 910. Am I looking at that right? 685, excuse me. Uh, yeah, it's 685, so he was two, uh, 200. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, 585 would be like half of his bar. Mm -hmm. But um, he's backpedaling out there. He's got vision of just where they are. But I feel like that was just, you know, they, they rushed off in the wrong direction, and Horsemen might be in a worse position now than they were previously. Mm, yeah, but, you know, he, they got T32. You know, T32 on this map is so powerful, I would say that. But the problem is, uh, if your enemy capture, you can lead that and you can get that, you know. <coughs> well, it's, it's not easy for Shadow Tiger, you know, on the playstyle. I feel the Shadow Tiger is still more defensive, except the Okanopka, they know how to rush, you know. Alright, so for the time being, I mean, like, we've got the exchange of fire coming out from mm -hmm. both sides. Um, I, well, I mean, nothing really hitting aside from except for one shot onto Archon, and base capture has been initiated. Horseman has to do something about this. They're on yeah, defense right now. Yeah, they have now. to use uh, the T-32 near Shova Torren. They use the binocular, but, you know, uh, I think maybe they have no one use the binocular. Okay, mm -hmm. so... Again, this is just how things are beginning to pan out for the time mm -hmm. being. Uh, Charlotte Tigers hopped into that circle. You got Plateau there. Yeah. And I imagine that that's the Bulldog, right? Yeah, it's a Bulldog. It's a light hang. So the camera, the camera ratio is better. It looks like a Bulldog. Yeah, but you know, the Horseman sniping is in the position right now. So I'm wrong the, if they can get a reset capture. Right, 50% on that capture. And Horseman has to make a move very mm -hmm. soon. None mm -hmm. looks like he's just going to rush up there into the middle. Yeah, but and it's so cool. It is, it is. I don't think there's any chance of him coming out of that alive. I mean, he can come out, but he goes. He alive. Misses. Oh, wow. He's been exposed. Does get a hit on the second shot, however. And oh, we're we still waiting. He right. didn't get too many punishment. You know. Check out the, southeast, the southwest quadrant of the map right now. Spencer yeah. and Archon are going around for a flank. Mm hmm. Um, I imagine Archon's gonna maybe be giving a little bit more vision. Yeah, but Spencer. you know, if they want to rush it or not, you know, I think Archon and uh, uh, Spencer can snap in them, but you know, it's somewhat far away. Maybe, let's see how things go here. Plateau, Polly, and Reno are all gonna dive in on none there. He's a little bit of, of a bait, if you will, but there's two other tanks, mm -hmm. three other tanks ready to accompany them. That's basically the entire team is right here. And they're diving down now onto Nun, yep. who's out of the game. Rex is going to try and cover fire for his opponent or his teammate's dead body. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, T32 there is still powerful, I can say. So the position for the horseman is not that good right now. But you know, if the sniper on the south side can get them on high, okay. But you know, they you look like this oh, guy. Nice. Yep. They got Plateau in the background mm -hmm. as well, but I'm not sure who that was. I think that was actually Rex who got him. Yeah. Now Spencer and Archon are coming in for the dive-in. This is the move for Horseman. Six versus six. The yeah. odds won't get much better, mm -hmm. but Archon down to seven HP and taken out of the game. A bit of a failed flank, if you will. Te uh, Spencer's still alive, to the best of my knowledge, but at half HP. There wow. he goes. Reno was taken down in that exchange, yeah. and now we got to yeah. see Horseman turn around this fight very, very quickly, if yep. they can at all. Mm -hmm. Rex moving forward to tank, in, to tank firepower. He's in that T-32, it's turning a little bit slow. And now Lobos Tomy is struggling to get away alive down at 226 yeah, yeah. HP. 155 on Gorilla, and he's, well, he, he was in yeah, the game. first, but don't turn bad. Iwami and Tobos, or excuse me, Lobos Tommy are both very low HP. There's still T32 in this game. He is being completely ignored at this point until they can get the damage dealing tanks out. Luso now gone, and it, it's all Colin now. Colin versus the world. It's a three versus one. I In this position, he typically wouldn't have a chance. I think he's focusing down the other tanks, praying for that AMX 1390 to go on the reload. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's been three shots, four. Five shots, and that takes him out of the game. Polly gets the kill. Yeah, I think in the beginning, uh, Horseman doing the right decision. You know, they're trying to kill the middle first. 
But you know, uh, maybe the problem on Fox Five or something. I am not sure, but the position is right, and the coordinate coordination and Fox Five maybe have some problem. You know? Yeah, you could say it. I mean, you could put it that way. I mean, it it seemed like it seemed like Horseman was was a little bit surprised mm -hmm. by the strategy employed by Charlotte Tiger, right? Yeah, yeah but you know, uh, the first of all, oh, if you want to reset a capture, you have to spot them, right? But on the steps way for ca for reset capture is use T32 with a binocular. So you don't have to go too far. Just stand there, you can spot the enemy and kill them. That's it. But you know they trying to use a uh, light hand go to spot it, spot it, and uh, on that moment, okay, short take a decide uh, to rush in and kill the spot first, and they got two sniper on the back, right? But uh, I think the position is okay, but they. They doing the action is not that fast, and mm. uh, they have to know. Okay, you are on the uh, on the defense side, so uh, on the best way, uh, you can just you know show up torrent. You they they take a lot of time. You have to and turn around. You know, on that moment, it didn't fox fire really nice. But, yeah. Uh, the problem of them is they they T thirty two know all stick into the battlefield. You can pull back and then show up torrent on the hill side, so you can decide the enemy. Trying to shoot which one is quite easy, you know. If but you if you stick together and turn the heavy tank is not easy to turn, so they waste a lot of time there, you know. I you mean know. that's kind of the way it pans out. And I feel like Spencer as well as his friend there, Archon, were just Archon, when yeah. they were rushing forward. I also feel like uh, they kind of put themselves right in front of the turrets of those tanks, right? Mm -hmm. I mean it. <coughs> You know, it kind of worked against them. If, and if they weren't getting in front of the turrets of those tanks that they were rushing at, mm -hmm. they were getting in front of the turrets of the other tanks yep. that were right next to them, that kind of thing. Yeah, but, you know, there is a short heal, so if they try to kill the I-3, I think that's okay. Because of your, your friend on, a, on the Explorer, can, they can just show up turret and now won't get too many damage there. But uh, I feel they shouldn't rush in. You know, there is a good cover for them, but they give up, so rush in and got a lot of damage there. Well, let's see how things go. In the next game, it looks like we are taking a little bit of mm -hmm. time to get into the next game. So we're going to go to a short break, and then after that, we'll be back with game number, number two six. of map number two. That yep. could potentially be the final game of the evening. The score presently, 4-1. to one. Okay. All right, guys, now we are back with game number seven of the evening, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Uh, number six. Six. Score is four to one. Yeah, four to one, number six. Okay, so this is game number six, right? Mm. So this is essentially, I guess you could say, the last shot for horsemen. I mean, mm -hmm. um, if they want to win tonight's set, they're going to have to take the next three games in a row, bring yep. the score back to four to four, mm -hmm. then go into a tiebreaker and then win it out from here. Okay. Um, conversely, Charlotte Tiger only needs to win one more game. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're already at the loading screen right now. Yep.
And we've got three RU251s coming out from Horsemen, an AMX 1392, T32s, and a T37 again for Horsemen. And uh, IS3, two AMX 1390s, two RU251s, and two M41 Bulldogs coming out from Charlotte Tiger. Hmm, I just wonder if we take any this Maybe. We'll yeah. see how things pan out in this game. It's going to take a while. But uh, I, I feel like a part of it's not there just yet. Yeah, but you know, I bet the Shadow Tiger gonna use the same strategy again because it's working and not that hard, you know. So uh, if they capture here, you know, the distance one, two, three, four, like, like less than 400 meters, if you use the binocular with the GCBT, you're gonna have a vision more than five, 550. So even uh, this the dark uh, camera ratio, he can spot the uh, enemy on the capture circle there. But if they didn't do that, they're going to take a risky way, like they have to take south flanking and go here. Now, on that moment, maybe uh, Shark Tiger, if you, if you Shark Tiger discover, OK, you're going to rush from the south side, they can stick together and kill your T-32 first. So you know, it's not that easy to do. but. On the easiest way, I still recommend that by Nigeria. As it is right now, Charlotte Tiger is essentially in possession of uh, capture point number one. But I mean, they haven't started the, the capture just yet. Yep. And uh, I think that's because they want to set up a pretty solid ambush before they get anything started and then just collapse in on the tank that solos its way to their position. I mean, it's going to be a death drop essentially. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I don't see why Horsemen didn't try to focus their composition on, on defending capture point number one. At least in, in the second game on defense, that is. We've already got an M41 Bulldog hopping into that capture point. There it is. It's beginning. Yep. So what's the move going to be from Horsemen? We got, okay, I like what's coming from Charlotte Tiger there. They're sending an Amex 1390 to the south route. Keep tabs on the enemy team, that kind of thing. Yep. Yeah. Let's try, maybe they're gonna rush a lot of stuff. Oh, it reset. Mm -hmm. It reset, it was spotted. So I think that the T32 is a binocular this time. Yeah, and I mean, the only one I can see that's taking any damage in this game is actually Rex. It looks like, I'm sorry, Lobos Tomy there took a good chunk of damage. He's down to 952 right now. Plateau down to 564. Mm -hmm. 664, excuse me. Mm -hmm. And I feel like... Yeah, even the rest spotted, you know, because of the T-32, it's not that easy to be damaged. The clock is ticking right now. I mean, four minutes are, are remaining in the game, <laughs> and I mean, uh, Charlotte Tiger's got to make a move yep. if, they, yep. if they want to they win. They to make a decision here. Yeah. And, I mean, coming from Horsemen right now, they're just giving it a little bit of time for thinking, and track shot hits Rex there, as you can plainly yeah. see on the stream. Another one. He's actually just show about Torrent. You know, you can keep shooting. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and nothing for him. So that's why I say, you know, this is the easiest way. Use a T32. Use a binocular. The light hand cannot catch. The can, light hand cannot capture. Except maybe you use a tank really flat, like in 25 or like the 12 T, quite tiny. So maybe there is something. Uh, the ground is somewhat higher and you can hide there, but you know, for the T37, it's not a short, it's short, it's light tank, but you know, the height is not that like low. You know. Alright, so but for the time being, we can see that most of Charlotte Tiger is actually redirecting themselves to the south end of the map, and I feel like that is going to be mm -hmm. to make a flanking maneuver, and it seems like the ideal thing to do with their IS3 pretty much virtually exposed in its present location. Yep. I think that if horsemen see that, they're going to dive in on that, and that's when, oh, wait a minute, he's just going straight up to the front. He's going for the hard scout mode. He says, come and get me. <laughs> come and get me. Shoot me. I dare you. <laughs> Not really. There is a shore here, so, you know, it got a pretty good cover. And yeah. uh, uh, the shot tiger goes to the south side for capture, but the uh, horseman Spencer, you know, he's standing here. We cannot see that here. So, you know, it's a... He can snipe in them, that's it. That's why he's here, you know. 
Nice move by Spencer, wow. but he's not quite able to make every shot connect. Archon down to only 117 HP. No Master Chief he may be is knocked out of the yeah. game, but Plateau came first. And now Opelisk is going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Spencer, backfiring just a yeah, little bit there. Yeah, because he is the auto loader. Yeah. So that's this round, and he tried to kill me. Bad, bad. Fire. And so right now, so you cannot see down. the heavy tank versus the light tank and how easy to deal with that. Yeah, and now Charlotte Tigers is bouncing in there, ramming, do every, doing every little bit of damage they can. Yeah. And it looks like Gorilla is maybe going to get away from two rams in a row without, without dying. But now it's Reno and Accio uh, against the world of Horsemen. Yeah, you know. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Reno. Backing up, how many tanks does he gonna get away with? And he's in that IS3 I think. Like there. Basically, uh, he's now out of the game and that's gonna bring Horseman back by one point. So the score is yeah. now four two. Yeah, I think you know I think they figure out that they use a T thirty two uh, with a binocular. It's so easy to defend. You know, you don't have to uh, send someone for suicide go. That's yeah. it. And then they put some skull on the south side. And it, they expect maybe, okay, you cannot attack on the north part. You have to go to the south, so we got two sniper there. That's it, so it work out. All right, so mm -hmm. Horseman survives to see two points of feet, which yep. was not accomplished mm -hmm. by Team Phoenix versus Team Efficiency. Yeah, yeah, but the problem is they have to offense here. Yeah, and, and that's going to be harder. Yeah, if your enemy uses a T-32 with a binocular, you know, it's really hard to assault, except, you know, you got the uh, artillery. So maybe. maybe they can use the RFV304 and use the artillery to bump the T32. And if they do that, maybe it will work out. Let's see how this goes mm -hmm. after a quick 90 second commercial break, guys. Don't go away. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we are back now, and the score is 4-2 to two in favor of mm -hmm. our Japanese juggernaut, Charlotte Tiger. Mm -hmm. You've got Horseman on the offense this game around. It looks like they're still dawdling just a little bit with, uh, oh, oh, excuse me, defense. They um, yeah, they are in the offense side right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 my yeah. mistake. Yeah, and uh, they choose artillery this time. Mm -hmm. M44, you see that, so uh, I just wonder why they choose M44. I, I, I do not play the artillery that frequently, so I'm not familiar that familiar with artillery because me of neither <laughs> yeah you know uh it's like when we're talking about uh, this uh, is this is the first day uh, for the entire year <laughs> of competitions we've been casting where we've seen artillery simply. yeah because of uh oh, when i start to join the tournament on the earliest stage the artillery only have tier eight but it's so powerful it actually is a tier 10 tank so but put it on a tier a so on that stage a lot of Tournament team use artillery on the Prokonovka. Every team use use the artillery. Oh. Yeah, but after the artillery have tier ten, so the original the tier eight become tier ten. They use the tier six up to tier eight. So not that powerful. So no one use artillery anymore. But Maybe. this time, you know, we got six point more. You know, not, I'm not 
I'm not talking about the six point is useless, but you know, we saw the uh, comics use the T thirty seven on him stove so successfully. Yeah. yeah. But you know, you got more six point more, so uh, if you see a campaign team on this map, maybe artillery gonna work here, uh -oh. you know. No, well, that you. selection was changed actually. There's no M forty four this time. Pershing, Pershing. R U two five one. Pershing has nice armor. Lots of bounces too, uh, I imagine, right? Torin is not bad, but you know, the phone armor is quite weak. You know, but yeah. speed nice. And the penetration is really nice, you know. What about bounces? Are those pretty nice as well or no? Mm. Uh, the, for the Torin it's really uh, really nice, but you know, for the phone armor, I mean the body is not that good. All right, so it's going to be two Pershings, not just one. They got a T49, RU251, Amex1390. <coughs> they got two RU251s, and I'm thinking maybe the last tank. They don't have a tier six yet, so they're choosing something. So maybe that M44 SPG is going to be a reality. But uh, right now I it's a 686. So. Ah. Yeah, yeah. 5916. Yeah, it's auto auto. Okay, so we got Horseman going with a 686 composition, then we're going to have Charlotte Tiger going with. Uh, a 5.8.7 composition. For those of you who are not familiar with the meta this season around, or for those of you just now tuning in, mm -hmm. if you're going to play in WGL this season around, you can have one of two tank setups for your entire team. That can be five tier 8s and two tier 7s, mm -hmm. or you can have six tier 8s and one tier 6. Thus, we say 5.8.7 for two tier 7s, then we say 6.8.6 six for uh, six tier 8s and one tier 6 tank. It's a little bit confusing, but you get used to it after a while. Mm -hmm. And lay you so Edison, what's the plan with two Pershings? Mm, you know what? The Pershing, the advantage of a Pershing uh, compared to T32 is speed. That means they cannot do something really fast. But I cannot expect that to they want to rush the east part, you know, it's something like suicide, but you know the big man team didn't really deny some eastern rush. We didn't see that anymore because of the North Korea right here. How big <laughs> is a fifty nine sixteen? Because I'm thinking what they're gonna do is they're gonna do a tank shield, if you will. It's a uh, Chinese light hang and on this moment they probably gonna oh it's a scope clean for scope. <laughs> Oh, this is a little bit interesting. It's getting interesting right now, anyway, I mean to say. Yeah. Again, Horsemen's on offense, guys. They have to win the next two games, take mm. things into a tiebreaker, and then win the tiebreaker in order to win tonight's set. Charlotte Tiger, conversely, only needs to win one more game to win this set. Yep. All right. Uh, so the pressure's on. Um, Three, four, five, that's not can... looking good for Gorilla. He's running straight into four tanks. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think know. he knows. Yeah, but he got a cover on the back, so he's not that worried about that, you know. Most of the action on the Japanese team, I have to say, not only the tournament, most of the tournament team, most of the Carolina War, the Japanese team, oh, they do it. Man. It's just, it's a touch shot, you know? It didn't end. It didn't end and hit. But he hit, he hit, he hit for, for like at least damage. 500 damage. And it's a T49, you know? Yeah. You know, I, sometimes I really had the touch shot like this one. But, you know, 500 Oh, no, damage. he can. Oh, him. Yeah, this time he so ends and missed. Right. But that time he did end and hit. <laughs> yeah, 587 damage with one shot onto Gorilla's oh, side yeah, there. Broadside, yeah. I might you add. Know, it's a T49, you know. And, 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 and he cannot expect anything about that. All right, so. I know. I'm only thing you lay a sure Okay, uh, T32 T T still on the east part, so. If they want to rush, they can do that faster and not, uh, not stand there. <laughs> All right, so again, just waiting. I mean, like, both sides are playing their picks. Horsemen, they're, they're playing with fire right now with the position that yep. Gorilla is in. And if you play with fire, you can be burned if you're not careful enough. Mm -hmm. Gorilla's going to go up there. He's going to poke, but he's just trying to get that 50-meter uh, scout, if you will, yep, onto Polygon. Yep, yep. They're right. trying to scout the enemy right now. It's quite tiny right now, but I think that if the T32 come in, the horseman gonna have problem there. So they have to do something oh, faster. If oh I boy. were horseman, I cannot cross the railroad and kill the north part first because the T32 
still on the south. So it was That's just a rush come in. true. Yeah, just rush. There and they Carlos go. Horseman is there. rushing in with the correct positioning right yeah, now. Yeah, that's Does dodge a shot. He deals out a little bit more damage and some covering fire from his teammates. We'll get the kill on to call it first blood of the game. Heads into the hands of Charlotte Tiger. He want me as exchange for both Gorilla and Colin. Mm -hmm. The entire team not quite able to get over those tracks fast enough. Plateau is like ultra exposed here. Mm -hmm. And the oh, type they, B. Some, oh, someone is captured? I think oh, so. Oh, yeah, someone is captured. That's funny. Yeah, but I mean, like, this this isn't looking good for Charlotte Tiger. Yeah. Horseman bringing it back quite mm -hmm. a bit now as it's a three versus five yeah. in this present predicament. Yeah, and right now, you know, T32 cannot run too fast, and someone was captured. If if the shot hiker sends someone for reset, that's mean. Here you only have two, and that's they're the gonna rush out. Look, it's a 59 16. It's yeah. brilliant. So now we know exactly yeah. what role yeah, we have yeah. in this game. All right, Rex now taking fire from both <laughs> Reno and mm -hmm. Lobo Sony. Question is who's going back to the reset? The answer is no one. Yep, no one. Right. So, what, what they gonna do? Stand there and waiting for the capture. I think that they <laughs> think that it's someone inside of the yeah. capture circle one that's going for the capture. Yeah, but you know, uh, horseman got the right position and then they rush out to T32. Totally right right now. Yeah. Kill the right now first and uh, deal with the other. Uh -oh. Can you do that? T49? Oh, he got a good chunk of damage under Reno there. That easily was about 600. Hit him yeah. hit right in the broadside. Now it's Reno and Spencer going to oh. head to head. It's Reno, the die first. Reno What's gets going it. on there? The capture's been reset there by our AMX 1390. This is now a three versus three, but it's not heavily favored for Charlotte Tiger by any means. They have far less Whoa, HP. Reno down to 90. And the rest come in by Reno. Rex by. gets the <laughs> flank. Gets the flank. Wow. 43 damage or 43 HP was all that remained on Rex. He's now out of the game. Mm -hmm. It's a two versus two, and this is a very, very tight game. And now we've got wow. Polly getting chased <laughs> down by Archon. And what on earth is Archon piloting right now? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Polly on the reload is and just going to run away. Him. Whoa! <laughs> two minutes remaining on the clock. He nigh. No. Two minutes remaining on the clock. Need I remind you guys that Charlotte Tiger is on defense. Yep. And if we see. Polly able to adequately escape the wrath of both Nun and Archon, and yeah, wait. but you know the uh -huh. MSP, the 59th, 16, and the T49, both faster than the M13. Yeah, but they're missing a lot of shots. They're gonna have to move and shoot at the same time. He's playing yeah. this game. He's playing it well. But wait, he yeah. stops once he's reloaded. You know, okay, you are here. You know. Oh, I'm trying oh. to return fire. T49. He's missing both of those shots so far. He's got four left in the chamber. Yeah, and I love this one because of there's a T49. And Indeed. something, you know, if you shoot, you, if you hit, you know, you cannot kill him. 59-16. If it goes for the engine shot, okay, it'll him. be a disabled. Whoa. Nice ram. It doesn't take down the tracks. Nice blow up on that 59-16. If, if none misses that shot, Whoa, he does he not hit. miss. He hits. He's going for the ram. Is Whoa, he going to get it? Oh, he no! He stops! Oh, he's no... Oh, he know he's no bullet right now. So he cannot... He's reloading. Bullet is slow game right now. He cannot miss. Can he you do that? He can't miss. He can't miss. He cannot miss. He cannot miss. No! Oh! He gets the kill! <laughs> and now we have Charlotte Tiger. That's why I love... Of, no. Um, That's why I love the T-49, you know. He cannot imagine... You cannot guess what happened gonna next, you know, if he miss. You know, you cannot see the M13 yeah. trace in him. It's that, suspenseful, <laughs> it's that suspenseful moment with a 13 and second reload. You know, you know? I have to say that the Nung is really smart. He didn't run him. You, you cannot guarantee you can kill him. Maybe you die first. No. If sometimes you got bad really? luck and the angle is not right, you maybe you got more damage. Playing it out as safely as possible. <laughs> yeah, but you, because of, you know, you only have like 300 uh, hit point on the T49. Even on penetrate, you can make 400. So literally just stand there and kill you. That's it. No. Right. Yeah. Okay, so that brings the score to 4-3 now, guys. Mm -hmm. We've got Horseman mm -hmm. one game away from taking it into a tiebreaker. And okay. we've got Charlotte Tiger one game away mm -hmm. from taking this set for the evening and going home with three more points. So yep. we're going to take things into a 90-second break, and then after that we'll see mm -hmm. how, <laughs> potentially speaking, the final game of the evening may go. So don't go away, guys.
<laughs> All right, guys, mm -hmm. we are back now with, again, potentially the final game of the evening. Yep. If not, we're taking things into a tiebreaker. So mm -hmm. it's going to be between Horseman and Charlotte Tiger. It yep. looks like our tank selection has not been made final just yeah, yet. Not yet, not yet. What do you think the changes will be going into our next game, Edison? <clears throat> Maybe they won't change anything. Really? Know. Yeah, okay. yeah. You know, if the horsemen play more rush style, you know, uh, because the short tiger they play, he, they, the team plays quite cautious, you know, in not the, the rush style team. But uh, if they, I think horsemen, if, if horsemen cannot win, they have to do something more spatial, you know. Because for a defensive team, they always play a defensive way, they know how to defend. <coughs> but. I mentioned about defensive team, you know, normally they won't do something different. So if you, make, you cannot win them, you have to do something like a surprise. <coughs> okay. All right, so here we are. Looks like this is a completely <coughs> identical loadout coming from Charlotte Tiger. Same as, wait. Hmm? No, same? I'm sorry. Is that the same? Oh, no, 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 they are T32. Right. <coughs> okay, okay. Horsemen didn't budge from their tank composition whatsoever. Yeah. Um, and it worked fairly well. Mm -hmm. And this time, we shot back to rush. I feel uh, horsemen want to rush. They have to go together because of, you must know the T32 cannot follow the rush. So, on the spade side, you can do that. <coughs> okay, so. Here we are. Yep. I think the short hacker, the Aki, there, there, he missed a lot of shots. I mean, he, he missed a lot on um, previous match. But in, uh, in, uh, in, con in con uh, instead of the uh, non, you know, <coughs> he's doing pretty good. I can't help but notice uh, Spencer's hanging way, way back there at the south. I think he's actually going to go into a position where he can counter capture, but that's only when he's 100% certain <coughs> the entire team is at capture point. The capture point to the uh, capture point mm -hmm. to the northwest. That would actually be capture point one. Mm -hmm. And this time, the uh, horsemen they didn't rush to the north. You know why the Spencer stand on the south side? He want to uh, sniping or keeping someone's uh, a surprise. If uh, if the <coughs> shot tiger they gonna flank him from the south side he can snipe him. Like the same scenario like they he uh, the the horseman on the north side but the west side he was dead under his arm. Well <laughs> and now we see the entire team repositioning themselves to yep. capture point two. That's what they're tilted for. <laughs> This entire game, they've revolved around the Northwest capture point, including the defensive matches, and so now they're going to take Charlotte Tiger a little bit mm -hmm. out of their comfort zone. Yep, and uh, you know what? Uh, I still feel then about you know if the horsemen, you know, they use a seven light angle rush to the B1, you know, I think it might be working because of the the T32 always stand on the B7. You know? If they do that, they can have an advantage on. Seven versus four versus five, and uh, they didn't do that, you know, because for the <coughs> for such a for such a defensive team, uh, you have to think some way about surprising. All right, so here we are again. They're they're repositioned, <coughs> but I mean, Charlotte Tiger hasn't quite caught on to this just yet. Opelisk is in position to intercept, but I mean, at the same time, he's only one guy. Mm -hmm. Only a skill. Yeah, and he's in a uh, tier seven. I might add right now. I believe that would be an M41 Bulldog, mm -hmm. 910 HP on it. Yeah, I was saying either way, they can rush it to the east part either. But uh, on the horseman side, they didn't got a really nice score position. So actually, I bet both sides didn't didn't know where it's at. They didn't push forward both him. Okay. So oh. the horse may gonna capture for 33 seconds? Maybe, mm. I mean that's what they're capitalizing on. Go, look go, at go, it. Go, 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 don't stand there, go faster. We no. just heard the Chinese casters in the next room getting really ultra hyped yeah. about the game. There they go, they're diving straight into it. This is gonna cause a very hasty rush coming from Charlotte Tiger. They've got to scramble to get across the map and 
prevent this capture. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going into a tiebreaker for the evening. Mm -hmm. Oh, here we are. Oh, the shot of Hacker coming. 20 we seconds. Know. 20. Can he make that? 18 seconds. Can horse make it? <laughs> no one has been hit just yet. Mm -hmm. 13. <laughs> 12, okay. 11, 10, wow. 9, Can then 8, that? 7, Seven six, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, two 1. one. Capture! Oh, the reset! Oh, nice. The reset coming! Nice. And the cap! The Charlotte Tank has arrived just to reset the capture. But the question is, are Can they, they going to be able to pull out the tank fight? If they can't pull out the tank fight, then this this rush here to reset the capture may have been all worthless. Colin now down to one shot, and that is amazing. Remarking that Lobi, don't or Lobos Tomi just managed to get away. Whoa! One shot, and he even gets a kill. kill. Polly, Polly, Polly coming in to avenge his teammate. No, he's actually turned in a completely different direction in the background. Now this is a six versus three. Horseman now coming so close, only to fall at this point. Is Whoa. a little bit disappointing as we now only have Nun and Archon to put up a fight. There are three very low HP tanks on Charlotte Tiger versus the two. Now Archon down to nine HP and dodging bullets left and right. He's taken down now by Hiwami and now it's up to Nun to do something. He can do nothing as he is shut yeah, out of the game. Yeah, almost captured. It was no. so close. So close. So close. <laughs> it really was. Okay, okay. <clears throat> you know. Uh, that's the problem about, you know, uh, I think the T-49 there work, make it a lot, you know. The horse, if the uh, T-49 didn't uh, make the two shots, like uh, one shot is 700, I think. And now one maybe 800, if he didn't do that, maybe it, horseman can win this one. But, maybe. Oh, I cannot say that, but, but you know, uh, uh, on, the, on the Fox Fighter, you know, horseman did not doing that too because of uh, one tank only have like 50 hit point and run away and now one maybe I have 100 but still run away. I feel like in many ways it was almost unstoppable what we saw. I mean it was... Uh, if everything had happened just two seconds sooner, were there three things? Were there three tanks in there for the capture or four? Uh, three. Oh but man. But the time, the time is the same because of three is not enough because of you have to stop someone uh, uh, out of the capture circle, you know. You have to check the time and let the three tank capture. So they have to make a defense mm -hmm. line before, be in front of the capture circle. But they may think about another way doing that, uh, like light tank and stick on back and person show up toward you know in the front, in more powerful and the, because <coughs> your enemy was forced to reset. So if you shoot a torrent and if people they come in, you have a lot of time, a lot of time to shoot in them. But on that position. <coughs> They use the RU-251 on the outbound and they use the question to in the capture circle is somewhat not that good a it, regiment. But yeah, <coughs> I but mean, it, it happened. What happened happened. <coughs> I mean, it was crazy, it was close, it was strong, but it wasn't enough coming from horsemen. They had just hit mm -hmm. 100. And we all said, 100! <laughs> and then boom, the reset comes Yeah, in. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But, you know, uh, I think the strategy is quite okay, you know, because of this goal on the north spot and uh, let's put uh, someone stand there and there's no okay maybe uh, you guys on the north because the goal is didn't see anything so let's decide to capture that's it but uh, it's somewhat bad not not back line I have to say it's not bad yeah. line. but if they have a four <coughs> four tank on the capture circle maybe uh, something gonna be, be different because of do you know the capture rule <coughs> capture rule right if yes. you have like, like straight tank on a capture circle, right? And uh, everyone, one, uh, one second, uh, 10 second means, oh, okay, we got 30 point. If you got a number four and the capture 10 second, <coughs> you still have 30, you know? But the yeah. first one was reset. The number four cannot, you know. Uh, continue it. Yeah, cannot continue it. That means you cannot still have the 30. Oh, that, okay, like okay. So <coughs> if two tanks go in and then two more tanks go in. Yep. One's right here, or one, two, one, yeah, two. Yeah, but you know, it's okay. really hard to decide because of, uh, uh, I have to say that. Decision making, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you get someone into yeah, the ambush yeah. or do you just pile yeah, all you, your tanks know, in there? If you got more capture, that means you got lower, uh, less, less tank to defend the frontier. If you got less to defend, they may break through really easy and reset your capture point. That's it. So it's really hard to you know, how to say that. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is unfortunately the way the cookie crumbles right now. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, but we have a quite exciting game today. It did. You know? Yeah, it was great. I mean, that's what Horseman is capable of doing to us, mm -hmm. you know? They, yeah. they always do it. But um, right now, I mean, I guess you could say my initial prediction was correct. Mm -hmm. The end score is 5-3. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> a little more faith in your team than you did tonight, Des, and don't give it too much thought. Mm -hmm. So I think that's going to wrap things up for the evening. Charlotte mm -hmm. Tiger gets away with three points. Horseman, right now, what are their standings? They have one win, one loss? Uh, one win, one loss. Yep. Including tonight? Yeah, including today. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that, that's it. Mm -hmm. That's the end of the show for the evening, guys. Mm -hmm. My name is Benjamin Breaker Novotny. Lisa Edison, 99. And we will see you guys on Thursday. Thursday. Have a good night. Bye. Bye.